with the thumb. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Here we are. We're riding this wave together. I know that uh, for all of us, it's you know an unusual experience going in and out of different emotions. So let's stick together with this. And it's so important to take time to nourish our, our body, mind, and soul. So I'm here to uh, guide you and lead as I am in my dharma, my purpose in life. And Shannon is way over here. We're practicing our uh, very big social distancing as we are here to help and serve you. We come in, we do the recording, and then we leave. But we really want to help you because this is important and this is essential. So we're going to start lying down today, doing some nice healing breathing techniques called sounding breath in Sanskrit Ujjaya breathing. Then we'll stand to get some blood flowing. We'll come to a seated position and then lying down, my favorite part, and then relaxation, followed by a really beautiful meditation. So I have my phone out to remind you, please, everyone, if you can silence your phone, put it on airplane mode, that would be great. If you have to keep your phone on for whatever reason it is, you know, keep it on vibrate, keep it near you. But otherwise, if we can devote this next hour to breathe, move, and then another half hour for meditation. But our yoga is like our moving meditation. So free yourself, free yourself. And uh, let's start by, by lying down. So extending your legs out in front of you. I'm just going to turn sideways so you can see. You want to bend your knees, roll to the right or left side, bring both hands on the ground, and then lower yourself down onto your mat. So go ahead. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Adjust yourself. Ah. <sighs> Just let out a sigh. So let's close our eyes, everyone, and just devote this time to our total health and well-being, to check in, notice, be present. Be present with the ground beneath you, your beautiful, beautiful bodies. Feel the ground beneath your head, your shoulders, the hips, your lower back. Why don't we all bend our knees? You can then lift your hips up, then lower them down. Feet are hip width apart. Let your knees lightly touch. Palms are turned up if comfortable. You know, we learn in this beautiful philosophy to be aware of our beautiful minds, our beautiful bodies, so our spirit can shine. So to be aware that we have choices and we're, we're, we are making choices from the moment we wake up till we go to sleep. And it's really important to choose the most nourishing choices, to be conscious choice makers. And this is such an important time to really pause for a moment and notice the choices. And will this choice nourish me? So right now, as we're breathing in and out, is it better to have your legs straight, feet relaxed out to the sides? Feel that, everyone. Feel it. Feel your body. Feel your legs. Or is it better to have your knees bent? I mean, for me today, it's just better for me to have my knees bent. Knees slightly touching, feet on the floor. Full deep belly breathing now. Breathe. Let's just take a couple minutes to create a rhythm of breathing that we'll stay with throughout the session. To feel the beauty and the power of our lungs, of our breath, each breath that oxygenates and nourishes every cell. So you can place your hands lightly on your belly so you can even get more connected with the full deep breathing. As you inhale, Allow your belly to rise up toward the sky. This way your lungs can fill up fully like balloons filling up. As you exhale, 
allow and feel your belly lowering down toward the earth. Feel this with your hands. Elbows are out a little wider. Inhale, belly rises up. Move your belly purposely, gently, easily into your hands. And exhale, use your hands to help move the belly down toward the earth to empty the lungs, making room for the next breath. Breathing in and breathing out, full deep belly breaths. Celebrating the breath, oxygenating, nourishing every cell, really shifting our attention from out here and what we're doing each day, what we're thinking about, shifting to inward, inner and inner body experience. Being aware that we have the power to nourish our body our mind, our soul, with breathing, with movement. So we're going to begin mountain raises from the sea. So bring your, bend your knees, everyone. Bring your heels in line with your knees. Toes straight ahead, arms down by your sides. Palms are turned down. Remove any hair clips from the back of your head or towels. Exhale, lift your hips up toward the sky. Inhale, slowly lower down. So exhale, lift your hips up as high as you can that's comfortable. Toes are straight ahead, feet and knees are parallel with each other. Pretend you're holding a yoga block or even a rolled up bath towel in between your knees. So when you come up, your knees stay parallel. You don't want your knees to open out to the sides, okay? You want to keep the knees and feet parallel. Exhale up, inhale down. So now we're breathing and moving. Good. So we exhale up, everyone. Your buttocks will begin to squeeze and the abdominal muscles come in. Inhale down. So exhale up, hold it for a moment. Inhale, float down. Exhale, up, inhale, down, three more. Exhale, up, inhale, down, exhale, up, hold it, good. Inhale, down, feel your leg muscles. We'll have such good strong legs and buttocks. Now feet are wide apart, arms over your head, lying down hip rocks. Going side to side, breathing in and breathing out. Full deep breaths. See if you can touch your knees down to the ground. Make any little self-adjustment. If you want to extend your arms back behind you a little bit more, that's fine. Just close your eyes softly and feel this. We're really just, it's like we're bathing our bodies with movement, with breathing. The beautiful philosophy of yoga that I so hold close in my heart that has saved my life, changed my life. Teaching, teaching me and teaching us to be present to be aware, to create space in our bodies. A couple more times each side, so be aware, feel this nice massage to the lower back and the back of your hips. Good. And then knees to chest. Let's do wide knees apart and rock. Keep your, the back of your head on the mat, chin toward your belly. Close your eyes. I mean, if you need to look for a moment to see what knees to chest is, that's fine. Relax your toes, but then go back to within. Relax your fingers. Good. Full body extension. Straighten your legs on the ground. Arms up overhead. Deep breath in. Now let's exhale a sigh. Out the mouth. Breathe deep. Full deep belly breathing, and now we add a sounding breath. It's 
If you do a few exhales out the mouth with the H-A sound, inhale and go as you exhale. So inhale through your nostrils, exhale. Can you notice, do that a few more times. You inhale through your nostrils, exhale the H-A sound. Oh, it doesn't cut off, Shannon? Okay. So inhale through your nostrils and exhale. Now to create that H-A sound, the ha sound, which is a very healing sound, your throat slightly constricts. So let's do that two more times. Now close your mouth and create this sounding breath through the nostrils. It's like you're breathing through the back of your nostrils. Inhale, exhale out your nostrils. You hear that? Inhale through your nostrils. Exhale out your nostrils. So you're doing this a few more times, actually about seven or eight more times because we're gonna add this into our movement, into our poses. It's called ujjaya breathing in Sanskrit, the beautiful ancient language, sounding breath. It's as if you were in a deep sleep just before a snore, right? But you're not snoring, you're creating that. I'll do it, so listen, listen. It's an effort, an easy effort. So the inhale sounds like this. The exhale. The inhale. The exhale. Let's do this together a couple more times. Okay, so let's bring the right knee to our chest, right knee to chest, and let's now add this breathing. Do the best you can. It's most important that you're doing full deep belly breathing with the movement, and then with practice, you'll get better and better at the sounding breath, which really deepens our physical uh, yoga practice to a deeper sort of moving meditation. So, but most important, the full deep belly breathing. And we're going to begin to bring our right knee over to the left with the left hand helping, and then the right knee to the right with the right hand helping. Your shoulders are on the ground, and it's just the hand, the lower arm that moves to keep movement and relax your right foot and your right toes. So the goal is to move in a relaxed manner so that what we learn on the mat is we then take into our daily lives to move in a relaxed manner more easily, more effortlessly and with awareness, everyone with, with awareness, be aware, close your eyes, breathe deep, Full deep belly breathing. If you can do the sounding breath, great, but I want your focus to be on the belly breathing through your nostrils. Your mouth is closed a couple more times each side, moving your knee like a tennis ball goes from court, one side of the court to the other side of the court. This is very good for our, our hip joint and our buttocks and low back. Good. And now we bring our right knee over to the left, left hand on the outside of the right knee. 
You see your foot is touching the side of the floor or resting on your inner thigh. But if you can, the back of your hip and the right buttocks is up, the left hip is down, your right shoulder is on the ground. Okay, and you're turning your head to the right, all the way to the right. But your knee is not down necessarily, although some of you might have your knee down. And look, for me, if, if you wanna straighten your leg, the right leg, the top leg, and bend and straighten, you know, what if you might find that that feels good, a little movement, maybe you come up and out of it. Why don't you do that for a minute? Go back to the side to side movement. We're just gonna really explore. Like a child going into a toy store for the first time would walk around in awe, exploring and looking and using the senses of sight and sound and feeling. And for us today, the feeling is important, the breathing. So go back to the knee down twist, breathe, and really it's shoulders down. Full deep belly breathing to keep your mouth gently closed. Teeth are unclenched. A couple more full, deep belly breaths. Breathing in and breathing out as we lengthen the entire spine. Head is turned to the right. Your, your right knee is to the left. Breathe. And then roll your knee up. Bring your right knee in towards your chest. Both knees in towards your chest. Full body extension, straighten your legs on the ground, deep breath, inhale, exhale, ah. Arms down by your sides, close your eyes, everyone. Oh my gosh, can you feel it? I mean, I'm not really doing, I'm just guiding you, but I did a little. My whole right leg feels four inches longer. Feel this, everyone. Your right shoulder is more relaxed to the ground. The benefits are immediate. Oh, it's amazing. And if you've come off your mat, get yourself back on your mat. Always make any little self-adjustment. And other side, oh my goodness, let's keep balance, right? It's about balance, everyone. We talked about that in the email you sent out. Balance, balance, balancing the left and right sides of the body, your beautiful body, doing what you did on one side to the other. We begin to move our knee side to side as we nourish our, our hip joint, breathing. Breathe deep, go side to side, moving easily, effortlessly, honoring your unique expression. I'll guide you. Keep your shoulders on the ground. It's really more about lengthening the muscles around the lower back nourishing your hip. So the shoulder blades, the shoulders are on the ground. The left hand helps when the knee goes to the left. When the knee comes to the right, the right hand helps. Eyes are softly closed, toes are relaxed. Breathe deep. Just close your eyes. Where your attention goes, energy flows. This is your time now, devoting this time to your total health and well-being. And then over to the left, the left knee to the left, and now knee down twist, shoulders down, knee over, turn your head to the left. Let the side of the left big toe touch the earth so that your leg is supported or Put your foot on your inner thigh, but do relax your toes, please. Breathe. Breathe deep. Remember the full deep belly breathing? And if you want to straighten your left leg, oh, that actually feels pretty good. Straighten your left leg. Bend the left knee. Straighten the leg. Bend the foot back towards the thigh. Good. Just This is nice. You could stay here. And then come back to going side to side a couple times. Yeah, I just made this up today. I'm always asking, how can I help? How can I serve you? Of course, I do my own practice in the evening. 
And I'm always asking, how can I help? How can I serve myself? Okay, and then come back to knee down twist, shoulders down, knee over. Close your eyes, take three more deep breaths. Relax your jaw, mouth is closed. We're breathing through our nostrils. Our nostrils are for breathing, full deep belly breathing. Good, good. And then bring your knee up. We should feel the balance, both knees in, rocking right and left. Full body extension. Deep breath, inhale and exhale. Ah, arms down by your sides. Feel the balance. Let's silently say, joyful, energetic body. Joyful, energetic body. Loving, compassionate heart. Reflective, alert mind. Lightness of being. Lightness of being. So let's bend both knees now. We'll be bringing those intentions in at the end again to nourish our body, mind, and soul. Rolling to your right or left side, bring both hands on the floor in front of your face and lift yourself up to a seated position. How, how's everybody doing? Good? Okay, here we go. We're going to come to a standing position and then we'll sit back down. Let's do the standing. So bring your feet apart, width apart. Inhale, arms up over your head, deep breath, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, again, inhale, exhale, now five-pointed star, exhale, half triangle, just going to step back a little bit, so you can see me, half triangle, look up, inhale, five-pointed star, pause, exhale, half triangle, Inhale, five-pointed star. Exhale, half triangle. Good. Inhale, nice side bend. Exhale, half triangle. So this time, inhale. Clasp your hands back behind you. Interlace your fingers. This is standing sun, setting sun. Inhale, lift up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift, so see, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Don't turn your head right or left. I was just turning to look at you, but remember, I'm not really doing. I'm just going through the motions to guide you. I'm speaking, so, you know, and I always like to look at you. I really feel all of you, I really do. And I'm talking to you, I'm speaking to you, I wanna help and serve you. Inhale, lift, squeeze your shoulder blades together. This is so good. And do soften the knees. This is good for our posture, for the front of the neck, the back of the neck, our thyroid. This is great for our shoulders. We were taking care of our hips before and our low back. Now it's the upper back, our chest, our lungs. One more time. Exhale down. Now inhale up. Victory squat. <sighs> Inhale, extend your toes out. Exhale, good. Sometimes we tighten our toes. One more. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, up. Exhale, clasp your hands back behind you. So interlace your fingers again, but this time do the other grip. So slide your fingers. For me, this thumb comes in front naturally. So I'm going to slide my fingers. That's the other grip, okay? So now we've got the other grip. It makes a difference, right? You feel that in your shoulders? Soften your knees, everyone. For me, I've got to really bend. Inhale, exhale, round. Inhale, lift your face toward the sky. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, round. See, we're creating balance by switching the finger grip, the balance, that little bit balances the other shoulder joint. Balance, everyone, balance. Okay, maintain balance. So one more time, inhale, lift up, exhale, round. Let's do it again, one more time. Breath in, exhale. 
Inhale up. Victory squat. Temple pose. Bring your feet hip width apart. Interlace your fingers. Exhale, half moon to the right. Good. Inhale, temple pose. Exhale, half moon to the left. Good. This is a nice side bend. One more time. Exhale. See how we're following? Let your head relax in between your arms. We're following the breath. Your head relaxes in between your arms. Inhale, lift up. Hands to heart, close your eyes, and silently say, I am strong. I am strong. I am healthy. I am strong. I am healthy. What I think I create, what I think I become, I am strong. I am healthy. I move gracefully and easily. We're going to do two sun salutations, okay? A series of movements of flow with the breath. Okay, so uh, we're going to inhale, hands to sky. Let's find, let's find each pose that works for us. Exhale, now bring your arms out to the side. Okay, bend your knees as much as you need to, okay? And I, I've got to bend my knees a lot today. I'm a little, my legs are a little stiff and that's okay. So fingertips are in line with the toes. Everyone will be a little different. Your head is down. So I'm just going to come a little more forward on my mat for you. Okay, inhale, left leg back, bend your right knee. So you can be doing this sitting in a chair with your right knee to the chest. If you've got a knee situation, maybe you're like this. You don't even have to go down real far. Okay, everyone is gonna be different. Some of you will want your knee up, others down. Find what works for you. So it's gotta feel good, right? And maybe sitting in a chair feels good today for this. Arms up, nice little back bend. Exhale, hands come down. Look, your fingertips are in line with your toe tips. Now you can, let's come into child's pose today. Okay, head is relaxed down. Okay, so now you can stay in child's pose or come onto your hands and knees and curl up into downward facing dog like this with your head down so you've got choices. If you're in a chair, you're folded forward. You could do child's pose like this or downward dog. Okay, so that is your choice. Okay, now. Let's glide forward to a plank or lower your knees half plank, right? So plank or half plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, come up cobra. So you might just come up a little bit or some of you a lot more. Or maybe you're like this, just breathe. Look, there's a lightness on your hands. Curl your toes under, go back into child's pose, tops of the feet to the floor. Inhale, hands and knees, exhale, down dog, or just stay in child's pose. Now, lower your knees, left foot forward. Use your left hand to get your left foot forward. So if you're in a chair, just bring your left knee up. Uh, you could have your knee up or down. And remember, I just want to show you, if you've got a knee situation, it would just be like this. You would just come back up to a more standing Equestrian pose, reach up for the sky, good. Exhale, hands down, quietly, light as a feather, other foot forward. Inhale, lift up, hands to sky. Exhale, hands to heart, close your eyes. Close your eyes softly. Can you feel your heart beating? I, I'm, I'm sure you can. And, don't worry if you don't feel beating, it is beating, but maybe you can feel it's beating more. That's just one. Okay, so let's do another one. Inhale, we'll flow a little bit more with the breath. Exhale, arms out to the sides of the feet. Now your left leg goes back. Inhale, reach up to the sky or not, knee up or knee down. Exhale. Child's pose, I think this is nice for everyone. Then you could stay in child's pose, breathing in and out, or come onto your hands and knees, downward dog, or do both. Inhale to a plank, or just lower your knees, half plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up, cobra. Exhale, go back, child's pose. Inhale, hands and knees. And then if you want, tabletop, I mean, downward dog. 
Then lower your knees or not. Bring your left foot forward. Use your left hand to get your left foot forward. Reach up for the sky. Exhale, hands down. Other foot forward, head to knees. Inhale, hands to sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Close your eyes. I'm strong. I am healthy. I'm strong. I am healthy. Okay, good. Can you feel that? <laughs> I sure do. Okay. <laughs> Hope you do too. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do tree pose. It's a balance pose. So look, I'm going to get this chair just to show you that you can use a chair. Okay. So you can use the back of a chair, a tabletop, a countertop. This is so important, the balance poses. So what we're going to do is tree, vrikshasana, beautiful pose. Uh, what, so we're gonna start by shifting our weight. Well, first of all, Tadasana, standing mountain. Let's check it out. Sometimes I go really fast. I'm certainly learning to slow down. Boy, oh boy, I'm learning to slow down, speak more slowly. So let's take a moment. Tadasana, standing mountain. Feet are hip width apart. Toes are straight ahead. Lift your toes up, lower them down. Ground yourself. Now, arms down by your sides. Okay, soften your knees just a little bit. You don't have to bend them, but soften them. You don't want to lock the knees back like a bow. Okay, soften. Head is upright. Okay, close your eyes. Feel, notice your legs. Feel that you're standing on the ground. See, even I need to learn. Gosh, slow down. Take, take your time. Pause between the poses. Now, if you want to hold on to a chair, you can, or a table, or the wall, whatever you want. Open your eyes. Find a drishti. That's a Sanskrit word for a focus point. So a drishti is a point where you focus on, and it Please make it higher, it's higher than your eyes. So it's, you're not looking down. For tree pose, you're looking up, higher than the eyes. Find a, a point, shift your weight. So keep your eyes open, gaze at your drishti. Okay, good. All right, so now take your, you can have your arms out like this, okay? If you wanna be holding on to something, that's fine. So this is the first part of tree pose. So you take your left, Leg, bend your left knee, turn your knee out toward the side. The tiptoes are touching the ground, right? And if you're on a thicker mat, better to step off of it for more stability. So again, you can hold on to something or not. Lift your ribs up from your waist. See, we don't want to slouch. Lift up. So this is fine. If this is your tree, this is good. And if you're not, it's okay if you are outside or you don't have anything to hold on to, just stay here. Now, if you want, you can take your foot onto your inner thigh like this. Breathe deep. Arms out to the sides. That'll help balance you. Lift your ribs up. Oh, keep gazing at your drishti. Gaze at your drishti. That's important. Palms together, hands to heart. Keep gazing at your drishti. Shoulders back and down. Okay, so again, you can have your foot here or if you shouldn't struggle, okay? So if you start to wobble or lose balance, look, you're still standing on the balancing on the right foot. Keep gazing at your drishti, bring your arms up. This is so strengthening to our legs. We activate and energize the right leg and energy moves up through the body. And actually when you balance on your right leg, it strengthens the left side of the brain, the logical side. We can all use some logic. The right side is creativity. So logic and creativity, strong brain, strong balance, arms out. Breathe. If you've got to bring your foot down, that's fine. You want to hold on to something, that's fine. You want to bring lots of variations here. The big thing is, is that we're standing on the right foot. Okay, bring your hands to your heart and close your eyes to dasana. Can you feel that? Do you feel the right leg more connected to the earth? This is an amazing pose to
strengthen internally. When we have internal bounce, we have external bounce to strengthen your brain. So let's open our eyes. Good, we're good, everybody? Okay, so shift, shift to your left leg. Okay, so shift your left leg. Again, wall, chair, table, or if you have nothing around you, then just this is fine. It, and, and lift your ribs up and don't, you don't wanna lose balance. Okay, so if you start to wobble, just come back down like this, okay? You don't need any props, okay? So you can put your foot on your inner thigh so you're gently pressing and keep gazing at your drishti. Your inner thigh and foot are gently moving in towards each other, okay? All right, good. So you're, you're on your foot, good. Gazing at your drishti. See if you can have a pleasant look on your face, feel like a tree. Soften the back of your knee. I am strong, I am healthy, just like a tree, right? Arms up. Good, see if you, I, I'm wobbling a little bit, but if I really start to wobble, I'm gonna bring my foot down, or I'll hold on to the chair or the table, or just bring my arms down and then my foot. So you can always come back to here. Strong, strong. Just think about a tree that roots down to the ground. And you can be sitting in your chair and just with one foot like this, it's fine. There's always another way. Okay, hands to heart. And Tadasana. And bend your legs. Okay, good. Okay, just one more. Shift back to the right foot and bring your left knee in. This is ek padasana, ek, ek padasana, ek one pada foot, ek padasana, one foot pose, or in English, just one foot pose. So our knee, see our knee is in like this, okay? And so, and you gaze at your drishti, shoulders back and down. Now look, this could be, this could be it for you. This is fine. This is, you're still, see, I'm still on one foot. I'm on my right foot, right? So see, this is just for balance so you don't tip over, right? And when you get really good at these, it's really, you'll get nice definition in your legs. You'll have strong legs and a strong brain, right and left sides, creative and logical. For some of you, if you feel that, you know, you practice this and you can take your, uh, the foot and go like that, that's fine if that's what you do. Okay, it's not what I'm doing today. With lots of variations, breathe. So think strong and gaze up at the drishti. Gaze at your drishti, breathe deep. This is so, so good for balance. It balances internally, creating internal balance, strengthening our legs, balancing on your right leg, is strengthening to the left side of the brain, logical. Two more deep breaths. Two more full, full deep breaths. Ekpadasana and Tadasana, standing mountain, close your eyes. Feel that? Feel that? Feel. A yogi, someone who studies yoga, union, so someone who studies union, awareness, feels energy. So you feel, that ener feel the energy in your leg, feel more rooted, shift. Open your eyes, shift. So again, this could be your ekpadasana, your one foot pose, or this, softening your knee, the, this supporting leg. So your left leg, just soften the back of your knee. Breathe, lift up everyone, lift. And again, this is fine. Some of you extend out, that's fine too. Whatever, so many different variations, so many different times in our lives, we'll do different things. and different poses, two more full, full deep breaths. Breathing in, you wanna move your knee out to the side, make it up. Everyone make it up, what do you want? If you wobble, just bring your foot down and come back. And Tadasana, shake it out, shake it out. Breath of joy, everyone, if you've been following the videos, we like to do this now, inhale, halfway up, inhale, arms out to the sides, inhale, exhale. So three part breath. So we inhale and inhale, exhale. So inhale, 
Inhale, inhale, inhale, inhale. Let your knees be like a spring, see? That's it, good. See, it's nice and easy, very purifying, very strengthening to our lungs. Three more. Let your elbows be loose. One more. Inhale up. Oh, exhale to the side. You are going to feel so good. So good after this. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Close your mouth. Breathe through your nostrils. Silently say, I'm strong, I'm healthy. I am strong, I am healthy. I am move easily and effortlessly. Okay, let's sit down. I wake up every morning, I lie there. I am strong, I am healthy. I am grateful. I am strong, I am healthy. I am grateful. So butterfly pose. Okay, inner thighs, if this bothers your knees, then just come like this. This is fine too. Okay, inhale, right arm all the way up and over, side bend, exhale. Inhale, perfect. Exhale, breathe in and out. My gosh, time goes by. Okay. Let's come into a single leg. So bring your left foot in, other leg is out. Ooh. Hello, inner thigh. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is, this is, uh... Shannon's like, are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm fine. I forgot I had an inner thigh. How about you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bring your leg out. You know, it is important. Sometimes we forget about, we think about the front of the legs, the back of the legs, but there is an inner part too. So if you bring your hands back behind you like this, you can sort of scoot yourself forward a little more and come on top on the front of your sit bones and you feel. So lift up, lift up your ribs. Good. Take your hand like this or here, wherever you can reach. And this hand out in front and just rock, rock. Feel that? Maybe we can put that music up just a little louder. Vada Evening, Magic of Healing by Brent Beckbar. Ah, okay. Hello, inner thighs. Asana means position or pose, seat of joy. So, you know, uh, Joyfulness with the effort here. Okay, so reach both arms, reach both arms. So wherever, you know, obviously for me, I'm not able to reach right now to my foot. Okay, so I'm gonna just hold on to my calf, breathe. But do, do whatever you want. Lift your ribs up and come forward on your sit bones. Those are the bones that you sit on. Breathe deep, full breaths, full deep breaths. I'm just going to turn sideways for you so you can see. Incline plane. Now you bring your left arm up, right arm up, left wrist touches the back of the left hip and lift up onto your knee like this. Look down, shoulder is away from your ear. You can do a back bend looking up or, and if you have a wrist situation, you can come on your forearm. You see, there's always another way. And then go ahead and lower down. And now we should be able to reach a little further. Can you feel it? Breathe. See, I can reach a little further now. Breathe. Rock back and forth. Lift up. One more incline plane. Lifting. Extend. Breathe. Make sure that your left wrist is un in line with your shoulders. Good. And then sit down and reach over. Okay, come up, shake it out, Ooh. bring this leg in, ah, but my inner thigh over here feels so much better now, and here's the other 
inner thigh. These are called your adductor muscles. You've got your quadriceps, your hamstrings in the back, the abductors, and the, or the adductors, and out here, the abductors. Good. Breathe deep. So, but in simple terms, you just know simply inner thigh, outer thigh, front of the thigh, back of the thigh. <laughs> okay, so bring your hands back behind you, lift up, flex your foot, come forward on your sit bone, see if you bring your hand over here and just rock a little bit, close your eyes. Breathe deep, full breaths, breathing in and out, breathing in and out. Reach a little further, good. Okay, incline plane, right arm up, left arm up. Now remember, the right wrist touches the back of your hip, you're not back here, and lift up. And if you can only lift up a little, that's fine. Whatever works for you, look back at the hand, breathing deep, Breathe full, full deep breaths. Breathing, full deep breaths. Breathe in and out. Good. And sit down. Cartwheel your arms over. Reach. Maybe you can reach a little further now. Just breathe. Never sacrifice the breath for the glory of the pose. And one more time. Inhale up. And exhale. Incline plane. Breathe. Breathe deep. Breathing deep, reach out through the toes, through the fingers. So the left hand is up in the air, you're reaching. And exhale, come down. Good, and then shake it out. Come back to a nice butterfly. Good. And it's time, it's time to lie down. My, it goes fast, doesn't it? It's like you take your car in for a tune-up. We brought our body, mind, and soul in for a tune-up. Ah, lying down hip rocks, everyone. This should feel really good. Going side to side. Ah, knees to chest. Ah, rocking. Okay, go ahead and prepare yourself for relaxation. Some of you may need to do a different pose, whatever you may do in your own practice. It's really important to close your eyes and ask your body, how can I help you? How can I serve you? How can I help? How can I serve my body? And if there's a pose, there's thousands of poses, something you need. Go ahead and give yourself that gift. Otherwise, come into relaxation. Whether your legs are straight, feet relaxed out to the sides, or knees bent. Sometimes I like to relax with my uh, arms over my head. You could lift your hips up, lower them down, move your shoulders away from yours, whatever you want. Take your time if you're doing a particular pose. And just know that in a minute or so, it's important that you make your way to relaxation with your eyes softly closed. Your mouth is gently closed. And the breathing is just quiet, natural, what we do without thinking about it. Relaxation is the most important part. All you have to do is just be.
Just be as the energy flows freely in and around your body. Healing. Repairing. Rejuvenating. Revitalizing every single cell. And all you have to do is just be. Just be as you receive all the benefits of all the movement. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. Just be, you are free. Just be. Keeping your eyes softly closed. Gradually begin to deepen your breath. Oxygenating, awakening every single cell. Moving your toes and your fingers, bringing your awareness back to your body. Relax your toes, relax your fingers. In this stillness, in this silence, these beautiful intentions, let's awaken them to our body, mind, and spirit joyful, energetic body. Silently say this over and over again a few times. Joyful, energetic body. Joyful, energetic body. Your body is so beautiful. Joyful, energetic body. There's so much for you. Joyful, energetic body.
reflective alert mind reflective alert mind reflective alert mind beautiful mind choosing the most nourishing choices being aware of the choices that our mind makes paying attention reflective alert mind loving compassionate heart loving compassionate heart to silently repeat these words loving compassionate heart over and over again your heart only knows love your heart is loving, kind, compassionate, understanding, loving, compassionate heart. Lightness of being, lightness of being. You are a lighthearted, easygoing lightness a beautiful being, lightness of being. It's perfect. Moving your toes, moving your fingers. Bend your knees, let's transition onto our sides in sleeping baby's pose. Rolling onto your right or left side, rest your head on your arm or your hands, always elevate your head to support your neck. Just taking a moment to nurture yourself, loving yourself just as you are this very moment, being proud of yourselves for devoting this time to nourish your body, mind, and soul with breathing movement and relaxation. So let's lift ourselves up to a seated position that's comfortable for you. Bringing your palms together, hands to heart, softly close your eyes. Om is a vibration, it's a sound of the universe, it's the sound of the earth spinning on its axis, it's the sound of ocean waves, it's a circular motion. When we om, it connects us all. It connects us to the earth. So let's celebrate with the beautiful healing vibration of om. Breath in. Om. Bringing your fingertips toward your forehead, acknowledging your beautiful body, mind, and spirit. Lifting back up, hands to your heart. Take a bow to one another, wishing peace and happiness. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, all of you, for tuning in. And namaste. Uh, I do want to thank you so much for taking care. It's so important to take care of ourselves, our bodies, our minds, our beautiful spirit. Also, we will be starting meditation in just a minute, uh, but I did want to say that we, I know it, do I have any announcements, Shannon? We've, we will start back our workshops uh, in June. So June 1st, we'll start our workshops right back up. They're on the website, and then we obviously keep uh, cycling them around and around. If you have any questions or you have any requests for, I know many of you I've trained around the world at the Chopra Center for Wellbeing. If there's something that you want me to do from mantras to Qigong or whatever it is that you want or teachers, American Yoga Academy teachers and training or just the guests and students that come on a regular basis here and you're joining in or family and friends, you can reach me at Claire at American Yoga Academy. So my name is spelled C-L-A-I-R-E. That's the French way, spelling Claire, C-L-A-I-R-E, at American Yoga Academy. 
Uh, you can talk to me. Always give me a, you know, a day or two to get back to you because I am uh, pretty busy with Seton Hall and emails, but I'm certainly, that's the best way to reach me if you want to share anything. So many of you have been sending some nice things that we're going to use as testimonials. So thank you for all your wonderful, loving comments. And, and we still, we have teacher training starting this summer. Uh, we have been recording our online teacher training courses uh, forever. So we're a little ahead of the game there for that. So we are signing people up and doing payment plans without any admin fees. So please feel free to join in with that. And I'm just going to take a moment to get my socks on for meditation and get my chair ready. And it's been wonderful. I hope you enjoyed today's class. I was just always saying, how could I help? How could I serve you? And I'll see you in just a minute. We'll keep the screen on. I'm just going to get some water and put my socks on. Namaste. Love you. Love you so much. I'm here for you.